Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I, I am at the LAX airport doing some testing for you guys at the at the gate that I, I had I had about an hour wait. So I, I decided let me just do a video, show you guys how it performs. So I flew American Airlines. That terminal at LAX is terminal four and five. Great performance for T-Mobile throughout that terminal. A DAS system has been deployed with, with lots of access points for T-Mobile. And even at this smaller terminal, which required a shuttle, I mean, uh, the, the gate required a shuttle, as you can see, it still performed great. 312 down. The uplink wasn't as strong, but you can still get most things done even with that type of uplink. So, yeah, leading up to the airport, the shuttle from, from the rental place, heading to the terminal on the outside. T-Mobile also had some DAS access points there. T-Mobile did well over a gig before even getting inside the terminal. Then we had to get on the elevator and go up to the, I think it was the third floor to get to go through TSA. Uh, T-Mobile performed well there too. So they, they must have invested a significant amount of money at that airport to get it up and running. So I really wonder what it really performed like before they made all these enhancements i'm i'm quite positive just off of the macro grid it probably wasn't this great of a performance to begin with and that may have ruined it for quite a few people in the past because now everything at the airport is electronic even with the uh the boarding passes if you can get them onto your apple wallet through the app if there's seat changes gate changes it updates in real time now the stewardess or whoever's uh, is running the desk, they will still call your name out and say, hey, there, here's a new ticket. Your, your seat has been changed. But if, if all that is happening in real time electronically on the boarding boarding pass on the app, then you get it. You get informed faster than them. And then they'll just say, OK, you don't need this anymore. But if the network is not up to par and, and it's slow, then you might not get that update in real time. So as you guys can see, T-Mobile has was performing great even at the smaller gate. Uh, I believe it was gate 52. Um, and T-Mobile still performed fairly great. The uplink, a lot to be desired, but still enough to get most, uh, most tasks done. I even uploaded some videos there. So it was fine for me. But um, we also got in some, some MPerf testing as well too. And... Like I said, it, it performed great overall at the airport. And that's something that I, most of you, and in, including me, probably wouldn't have been able to say like six, seven years ago. Throughout LTE, I have been told when um, a person that used to work for T-Mobile, um, they, they struggled. They had about three, four macros looking into the airport. And then when they got band 12, they, uh, they did a little better, but... I doubt they performed anywhere close to what you're seeing right now on screen. I mean, the performance, I was, I was blown away. I was not, in, I was not expecting for T-Mobile to perform as well as they did, but now it gives me even more confidence that, Hey, look, they are investing. I mean, regardless of maybe the Super Bowl was there a few years ago and that that's what caused that investment. Regardless, the investment was made. It was made. It's there. And it, it, it's a great performing network for anyone. If you have a longer layover, you can download movies, watch movies there. You can you can take care of some some personal work, emails, whatever you need to do. T-Mobile now can handle it at this airport without without any problems. And that was that was my worry. I was like, hey, look, it, I'm going to this LAX airport. It's a huge airport. Um, lots of people. And I thought maybe T-Mobile wouldn't do so great, but they performed great. I, I streamed I streamed videos, music, 4K content. They did they did well. So here's the MPerf testing. Um, maybe they could have did a little better on the uh, on the on the streaming, but like I said, it's it was still enough to to stream everything. As, as far as the 1080p 4k goes so so 85 on browsing which is solid and 87 on the on the on the streaming 
and then here I run a, I run a few more and then after that that really con that really um, concludes the testing so so let me know your thoughts um, I'll leave this running for you guys to, to see the rest um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you guys on the next trip. I'm planning a few more trips like this where we can do testing and, and, and report back to you guys. I'm trying to get all the carriers so we can do more compare, contrast type of thing and, 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 and reviews. So, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for the rest of the video as this testing finishes. See y'all in the next one. Peace.